Hey everyone, I'm Captain Forrest Falcon. Welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. You have no plans today, so you decide to go somewhere else. Uh, let's just go to the grocery store. You decide to go to the grocery department because you never have the opportunity to go in here. Neat. There's nothing you really need. But you like looking at the mist just constantly going on the food. That's a waste of water to keep that just constantly running like that. Buy a snack! Obviously, why, why would we come here and then get nothing? You decided to buy tater longs. You decide to go to the shrine in the shopping district on the way back. Fantastic. What, a, what an amazing trip out. There's no one on the premises. The dusty shrine doesn't seem to be well maintained. You decided to go home. You sent someone watching you. Strange animal. Oh no, it's a fox wearing a bib. We're doomed. A mysterious fox suddenly appeared before you. Does it live at the shrine? The fox is staring at you. You notice an Emma plaque in its mouth. The mysterious fog fox nudges the Emma into your hand. It reads, Please help Grandpa's legs get better. Kaida. The Emma has someone's wish written on it. Why did the fox give this to you? Upon closer inspection, you notice an unusually shaped leaf stuck on the back of the Emma. You don't recognize this leaf from the local plant life. Is this also the work of the mysterious fox? Yep, and he runs away. <laughs> oh, not every day you see young ones like you around here. Nobody lives here anymore. I came by to tidy things up once in a while, but lately my legs are so achy I just can't do it. I've been trying to get this place up to snuff, but there just isn't enough money to go around. Well, I suppose I'll pay my respects. My legs don't heal, I can't maintain the shrine. That's and I won't be able to visit Kaita anymore. He's my grandson, you know. You wonder if it could be the same Kaita who wrote the Yemma. Yemma said, please help Grandpa's legs get better. Hmm? What's that you got in your hand there? Could it be? That leaf! That's it! Way back when, my grandmother always used to say a leaf shaped like that was the best kind of ache remedy out there. Oh, what memories. But how'd you get your hand on this? I didn't think you could find these in the mountains anymore. Please, young man, can I trouble you to spare me that leaf? You gave the old man the leaf that was stuck to the back of the Emma. Oh, this is it. This is it. Oh, let's see here. The old man stuck the leaf onto his leg. Just slapped it on there. Oh, I fe can feel it. It's working. Hop. Amazing. The pain I've been feeling for who knows how long, it just up and vanished. Hmm? Why, I feel better than I have in years. You really helped me out, young man. I'm so grateful. Now I can go visit my grandson. I'd better pay thanks to the shrine for bringing us together like this. That was the fastest deposit in the shrine I've seen. You marvel at the amazing results. Not only did it heal his aches, it even restored his vitality. The fox looks on from his hiding place with a contented expression. It seems to understand that the wish on the Emma has been granted. And more importantly, Offerings were made! It even seems to understand that the shrine has received an offering. Wait. Yep. It seems it has taken a liking to you. It has a mouthful of the same leaves as the one you gave to the old man. It seems the fox has a large stock of mysterious leaves with healing powers. The fox is looking up mirthfully. Is there something it wants from you? You cannot help but think how strange an encounter this is, as you realize a fox is showing you a pile of leaves. You feel a faint bond forming between you and the fox. And just like that, we grab another social link. I always forget that the game actually initiates this one for you. I always get the feeling like you're supposed to 
Like, I always kind of got the feeling like you were supposed to come here at night and have the courage of thing done, but no. Game just gives it to you. I don't know if maybe it was different in the original or not. Where does it find such amazing leaves? You reflect on how useful it would be to have this kind of help while searching the other side. Yep. And runs around. Does it understand your thoughts? It's, it's really quite simple. The fox gestures towards the offertory box. Is it offering its services for a price? Yep. You pay money, you get help from it. It seems the mysterious fox has agreed to aid you in your search. Uh, however, it appears that it will require a fee for its cooperation. We returned the Emma to the shrine and went home. And the fox just lives there. It's getting late. You decided to go home. That was a good day. We went to Judas. We got... What were they? Tater longs? And we talked with a fox. The suspect in yesterday's ATM robbery in northern Inaba was arrested earlier today. Was it the one the that crashed into it? Pomena Sushin, a 26-year-old former employee of the company which reported the stolen vehicle. According to the police investigation, Pomena Sushin... Truth is, he wasn't actually trying to steal it. He's just a really bad driver and crashed into the ATM. I'm home. Ugh. How many days is he going to call in sick? These rookies lately sure are... Welcome back! Nanako, I'm sorry I broke my promise again. Yeah, this is the first time we've really seen him since uh, he said, "Yeah, Golden Week's out." Oh, um, my big bro and his friends played with me instead. I see. Thanks. Oh, that's a Juness bag. <laughs> What's in it? She's so excited. The second she realizes it says Juness on it. <laughs> Good eye. Well, today is Children's Day. I'm going to be honest, there could probably be absolutely anything in there, but just from the fact that it came from Judez will automatically so make it better for her. Took me a while to decide what to get you. You like it? <laughs> wow, there's a picture on the front. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> what is that, like a duck or something? Platypus thing? Too. Not that you're still a child or anything, but fair is fair. It's a swimsuit with an odd design on it. Uh, thank you. Don't mention it. I'm not sure that would actually you fit might us. Need one soon. <laughs> like seriously, that well, that's so dang skinny. We're gonna have to lose weight to actually wear it. Okay. And she's off. You spend a pleasant evening with the Dojimas. Nothing bad happens this time. Oh yes, it is a it's a platypus. Does it look funny? Whether there's one day of rain, maybe it has. I don't know if it would have anything to do with the midnight channel yet. Which is a bit far, but the river's right in town. I'm sure you'll end up taking a swim sometime this year. Make sure to wear that, okay? And only that one. Yeah, just ruins your relationship with Dojiba if you get another swimsuit to to wear can feel his author authority. You are trapped inside. Thankfully, it doesn't matter because all we're going to be doing now is studying until we improve our knowledge up to the point we want. Can we get the double? Yes! We got the dictionary entries. Bonus knowledge. Wow. We okay, we didn't really need that much extra knowledge. I guess it was fine to read the book then, considering how close we ended up being on knowledge. This is all because I've actually just been not making mistakes on the exams or the 
the quizzes so far. Yo! Damn it, I just fixed this thing. It's making squeaking sounds again. I'm surprised that thing is still still alive after what it's been through. Maybe it's karma. Maybe you need a new one. Huh? Yeah. Hey, by the way, I'm sorry about the other day. You know about what I said to Nanako-chan. I think she was way too excited about just actually being outside the house for a day. After hanging out with Nanako-chan, I feel even stronger that we have to solve this case. We'll do our best. Yeah. You know, Chie and Yukiko seem different lately. They're a lot closer. Oh yeah, I was just curious, but are you... I, never mind, you know, if we keep chatting, we're gonna be late. Man, school's such a chore. And now my bike's messed up, too. The roads are much wider here than in the city, so I keep speeding. I guess that did it. No, it was probably the time you, like, just flat-out crashed it into trash cans. And probably the times you gave me a ride on the bike. <sighs> oh, well. Until I get my motorcycle license, I'll just have to walk. Early morning. It's lunchtime! Hangout time? Oh hey, Yosuke! What's up? Free time! So we've got Yosuke, we might want to hang out with him. Oh, somebody else? Chie as well! Yeah. So we're probably going to be doing some social links this week, because we want to take care of them so we then have the option of of doing like exams, getting a bonus from exams on their social links. At least they were peaceful. I listened in on the housewives gossiping at Juness, but it doesn't seem like anything happened. And I haven't heard anything about someone disappearing suddenly either. You think Yukiko could have been the last of the victims? Uh, I doubt it's over. It's never going to be that easy. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We shouldn't relax as long as the culprit remains at large. I wonder, will someone show up on TV again if it rains? If we only knew a little more about who the killer might be. Eh, it's no good fretting over it now. If someone does show up on the Midnight Channel, then we'll deal with it. It's supposed to start raining soon, but I hope this weather holds through next week. You know, midterms. Uh, you had to go and bring that up. I don't want to think about it. I'm I'm already good. I've already uh, gotten like I two levels of knowledge. Gift for studying. Hey Yosuke, why don't you have Yukiko go over some of the material with you? Hmm? Oh, that's right. Yukiko's ranked at the top on every exam. Maybe I should ask her for some private lessons. She'll charge through the roof. <laughs> private lessons? Huh? What's wrong? What was that for? I'm just asking you to help me study. Yeah, and how dare you say that without offering to pay first? Oh, I'm sorry. You were talking about studying. Oh, yeah, that too. I thought it might have been an off-color joke. Irene has had some strange visitors lately. Yeah, I guess maybe facing herself made her a bit more open to the idea of, you know what, maybe I'll just say screw these bastards to their face and just go at them. Thought it was a joke, then just shrug it off. Uh, she's been doing that for a while, Yosuke. I think she's had it. Sorry, my hand moved without thinking. Jeez. Thanks a lot, Chie, for bringing up the whole studying thing. Well, what did I do? Uh, you're the one who made it sound creepy and wrong. Private lessons, huh? What? Then it's mostly my fault? I should start heading home. Meanwhile, Yosuke and Chie just go at it for the rest of the end of class. No choice but to wait for another rainy day. We have the part-time daycare job. Uh, I don't know if we want to do that right now or just spend time with Chie or Yosuke. So looking at the social links right now, Yosuke's at 3, Chie's at 2. If we do Yosuke, I'm guessing that we probably wouldn't 
he will probably wouldn't be ready to rank up right away after that. GA2. But I feel like it's hard, it's more important to advance the more progressed one. So I think we'll start with that. Oh yeah, you're doing a quest. So we're just going to progress Yosuke a little bit more. Yo! Catch any, don't feed him to me. Yep. But we do not have a persona. Let me, what personas do we have? Okay, give me a second. I'm going to go and sort out our persona situation so we're more prepared for anything. Oh. Welcome to the Velvet Room. I see that we just have a memo left here. I'm sure it's not of consequence. Something is different. Marie is nowhere to be found. Uh, she's on an errand. She should be back soon. Where'd you send her? Oh, please don't be concerned. This errand is, of course, pertaining to those of us who reside within the Velvet Room. I would never allow my her to roam your world freely by herself. There's a piece of paper on the floor. Oh. What is that? She must have dropped it. Quote, unquote. It seems the piece of paper belongs to Marie. You notice something written on it. Perhaps you should return it to her. Huh. What? Wait, no! Marie frantically snatches the paper away from you. Urgh. What is this? What are you doing? I mean, what are you doing? Did you look? Uh... Show me, please. I want to say... Huh? Show you! Stupid pervert sleaze ball, I hate you! Why would I show you? This isn't meant for you to see. Marie is blushing furiously. Just, just forget this happened. All of it. I'm hypnotizing you now. Sleep. Sleep. You didn't see anything. Now, wake up. <laughs> that is quite an interesting reaction. Is what is on the paper really that embarrassing? Welcome to the Excuse velvet us room. now once again. Welcome to the velvet room. Welcome, my butt. That was close. And Marie returns to her seat and fidgets restlessly. Yeah, I'm sure we will never find any papers lying on the floor of this place again. Okay, so we can get a few more personas that we did not have yet. Anything here that I would want? Patra and... You've got a physical move, so we'll just go with that. So we got Oberon and then... Pro but I don't think there's any Emperor Social Link we need to worry about right now. But it's nice to have uh, one of these lower level ones for later. When we do get the Emperor Social Link. Uh, we could get... Oh, we're just just out of range. But also it would require Izanagi, which means we won't do it. Okay, so I just went and got Pixie, Slime, Sandman, and Kusith. I had to get Sandman back because we fused our strength once to make Oberon. Okay, Yosuke. Yo. Let's do round four now that we have Pixie. All right. Yosuke's happy. We get some points. I don't know if it matters until we've actually gotten the rank up. You came with Yosuke for a quick bite to eat. Hanging out with you here every so often isn't that bad. Even if we're short on cash, we can get a little discount here. Though there's a small price to pay in exchange for that. Oh, there you are, Hanamura. For example... <sighs> two girls. Hello there, Senpai. What's wrong today? You better say something to that blockhead manager. I told him I can't come in on Saturdays or Sundays. But he's saying I have to be here since we're low on staff, and if I don't, he'll fire me. Isn't there some kind of law against that? Uh, but didn't you guys say you could work weekends during your interviews? Well, yeah, they wouldn't hire us if we didn't. Uh, all right, I got it. I'll try talking with him. But you don't want to get fired, right? It'd make it easier for me to strike a deal if you could show up every now and then on weekends. We'll think about it. You better do it, Kay. Okay? 
Oh, Yosuke-kun, just the man I was looking for. Oh, hi. Hear me out. Remember that claim I had the other day? Well, the head butcher said... All right, all right. I'll, let, let's talk over there. Sorry. Sorry. Give me a minute. Yosuke went to listen to the employee. Oh, I'm beat. I'm not the complaints department. Pretty incredible handling all that. Uh, dude, it's nothing but trouble. Yosuke smiles sheepishly. Jeez, everyone just trying to take advantage of me as the Juna's kid. Maybe I wouldn't mind if I was free, but we have the murders to deal with. I don't have time for this. Can the police really handle the killer? Can the law really convict whoever's behind this? Once I start worrying about that stuff, I knew I couldn't bother with anything else. I have to do what I can. Uh, that's the spirit. We'll hype you. Hey, you don't get carried away. You make me feel like I said something crazy. He's taken aback. Uh, I never thought I'd be talking about serious stuff like this. Before I moved here, it was all small talk. Stupid, trivial things. I thought that was fine. It's only with you guys that I talk seriously like this. I don't know why, but I feel like I don't have to lie. Especially with you. You've already seen the worst of me and all. But well, thinking about it now, if someone had to see that, I'm glad it was you. Thanks. It's a bit late now, but thanks for going in with me that time. Yosuke is smiling sheepishly. You feel your relationship has improved. Rake up! I don't know, we might have got enough just from that to already do rank 5. And now his persona. It's game Dekaja. Who knows if we'll keep that one or not. Man, I'm getting kind of hungry. Alright, All right, I'll see if I can get a deal with the guy at the counter and try out the meat lovers combo. And you hung out you later. Uh, with Yosuke before going home. Yeah, so we might be able to progress him further than that. Welcome back. Hey. Hey. How are things? You should be used to life here by now. Oh, you're bored? Well, have a seat. Hmm. We haven't had time to talk like this since you got here, huh? Dojima's desperately casting about for a topic to discuss. Huh? Well, how's school? That's no, fun. You see, I see. It's good to hear. Your school days will be over before you know it. Make sure you have fun while you can. He's nodding to himself. What else? So yeah, how about your friends? Oh, you mean the guy who runs around with swords? He's doing great. Looks like you made plenty of him. He's scowling. I'm not saying who you can and can't hang out with, but... You know what I'm talking about, right? The kid with the swords? He, w he was going crazy there? Uh, yeah. Huh. So you did notice. I mean... He's naughty. For some reason, whenever there's an incident, there you are. I wish I didn't have to consider this, but... Killings began around the time you came to town. My job is all about eliminating the random element. I look only at the facts. If you keep getting caught up in my job, then... What's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, thanks, Nanako. You just said it for me. <laughs> Big Bro didn't do anything bad. I know, I, I didn't mean it like that. But, but you're bullying him. I'm not bullying him, we were just having a little talk. It's getting late, go to sleep. Okay. Sheesh. She's really taking a shine to you. Look, just don't get yourself involved in anything dangerous. As long as you're safe, everything's fine. Parents didn't ask me to raise your grades or anything. It seems Dojima is genuinely worried about you. You feel a faint bond for me between you and Dojima. And just like that, another social link has opened up. Now we're tying I'm now. That was to establish a new bond. You can now do Personas of the Hierophant.
you have established it, and you can now... Now we will need another persona for that. Things here might be a little different from what you're used to, but this is a good town. So it's a little dangerous right at the moment. Now then, it's about time for you to turn in. Get some sleep. Good night. Good night. And you said goodnight to Dojima and went to your room. Okay, so that's just a... Uh, we have another option now for things at night. You overhear students talking. All this rain. I hate rain. It's supposed to keep raining until this evening, too. Speaking of misery, midterms start next Monday. They even post the results up for everyone to see. Oh, don't worry about it. Your life isn't going to be ruined by one little piece of paper, is it? What? How can you possibly believe that? Getting good grains has benefits when interacting with people. Talented people really are more highly valued in society, aren't they? And we, we just keep on going. Uh, have you picked up the latest edition of Bully Teacher yet? No. What the heck did you ask me about? Do you know how Soseki Natsumi translated the English phrase I love you into Japanese? Um, no, I did not want to do skip. I was hoping to... I'm going to go with that. Okay. Anything else you asked? Just in case he said something specifically about that. No. Oh, you call me the city boy, huh? Um, sure. Oh, you're very knowledgeable. Yes, he translated as the moon is beautiful, isn't it? Uh, by the way, the person who translated as I could die was Shime Vutan. <laughs> okay, though he translated from Russian, not English. St uh, it's still similar in that they didn't do direct translations. Okay, back into Kokoro. We gain more knowledge. Very important not to miss that l every little extra bit of knowledge. Oh, hey, it's a lightning day. You hear thunder rumbling. Hey, Chie, I bought you a new copy of that Trial of the Dragon flick. It was the greatest punches version for 980 yen. If I knew then, I'd just replaced it instead of buying you grilled steak. This is clearly getting closer. Huh? What are you, scared of a little lightning? Quiet, you! I'd be a goner if even one of those things hit me. Ah! <laughs> You're freaking out way too much. Come on, shouldn't weather like this help with your kung fu training? I mean, keep in mind that we do get hit by lightning uh, when we're fighting in the TV world. A bolt of lightning would hit and it'd give you the inspiration for a new move. There was a scene like that in your DVD, wasn't there? Jerk, you don't even care how I feel. If lightning has to strike someone, let it be this guy. Next battle, all next time we're in the TV world, watch every enemy target Yosuke with Zeo and Zeo die. <laughs> huh? Is this a blackout? That's what you get for saying that stuff, Chia. Looks like I better hurry up and head to work. Depending on how produce sells today, I might get a little bonus in my pay for the week. This weather may keep customers away. But I gotta do my best if I'm gonna save up for a motorcycle. Yeah, because you're not getting anything for that wreck of a it's bike from you my have. Manager. Hello? Uh, Yosuke Kun? Hmm. Uh, some of the power in the store is out after that lightning strike. C could you come in early today? All the refrigerated shelves have stopped running. It's looking like we'll have to close up the produce section early today. Wait, what? But my pay! Anyway, I need you here to help deal with this mess. I'm counting on you. Goodbye. Wait. That sounds like a fun time. What are you looking at me for? Uh, why did this have to happen? Hey, Yukiko, can we just go home? Chie, do you know this story? A girl forgot her homework. So she snuck into school in the middle of the night, but she suddenly needed to Just immediately back. breaks into telling horror stories the second the blackout happens. She ventured into the girls' room where all the lights were off. No one should have been there, but in the mirror... Hold it right there! 
What are you talking about? We need another crash and boom. It's a ghost story. I thought you liked them. Yeah, but why tell it now? The atmosphere is perfect. Like dark at the crack of lightning? She's on the verge of tears. What should you do? Tell her another ghost story. Double down. Ah, you too? God damn it. <laughs> Why don't you just have him escort you back home, Chie? Uh, are you making fun of me? Well, yeah, with how freaked out you are, can you blame me? And we're back to normal. Oh, the power's back! Come on, Yukiko, let's go home! Uh, are you sure you want to go back home where you might get struck by lightning anywhere along the way? I guess she's fine. Classes have ended for today. You have no choice but to wait for another rainy night. Uh, I mean, chances look good. It's raining pretty hard right now. Damn, there's really, like, nothing to do on this day. Oh, good afternoon. Tests are coming up, you know. Are you going to study? Yeah, I'll study. Me too. I go to the library every day, you know. Senpai admires so much is always there. <laughs> and there, I can look all I want. I hope I'll be okay for the test. If I get a bad score, Senpai will be disgusted. It's easier to study when it rains, so I always try my best on those days. So, do we want to consider studying? Uh-huh. Yeah, unfortunately, can't do anything about that. Let me just see if... Can I get a look out there that looks like it might be the field right there yeah you, you can see some cones just set up outside can't see the soccer net or anything that's a pretty extensive extensive field <laughs> yeah so even though we could do like super studying right now since we just got the knowledge up I think it's fine to like go into the Aya Meatball Roulette. Where basically you just go until a, a pile of meat just shoots you in the face and kills you. Yeah, so unable to finish. Got understanding. We got some knowledge anyway, and then we got some courage. So we get some uh, understanding and courage instead of just getting the... Yeah, uh, she's on a delivery... Thank you, sir. Maybe we will uh, see her sometime. Welcome home. It stopped raining, but the thunder was loud. Were you scared, big bro? How about you? Yes. Nanako looks as if she's not doing anything. Feel your relationship with Nanako isn't ready to advance yet. Um, she looks a bit sad. Oh, again? Already? Something is different. Marie is nowhere to be found. There's another piece of paper lying on the floor. Come to think of it, the last paper you found here belonged to Marie. Something is written on it in cute handwriting. Sifo, listen to my voice. My shouting, bellowing voice. Here I am, pouring my blood into my words. Yelling at the very edge of the world. I am the little mermaid. Unable to return. The little mermaid. Faded to foam. The little mermaid. This appears to be a poem. Uh, bravo, I will give you a 7 out of 10 for it. Uh, needs more water. Why, did you read it? You read it, didn't you? I said no. No, it's, it's not like that. It's it's not a poem. Yeah, I'm yelling at the edge of the world that it, this is not a poem. I don't know what I'm saying. Words are just coming out. I, stupid, I hate you, jerk. I can't believe this. Don't read my things. Marie blushes furiously. It would seem that Marie was the author of the poem you just read. But why is it on the floor? I don't get it. Marie sulkily returns to her seat. 
Yes, indeed. How could it possibly have ended up there? There is no one in here who would have all the ideas of how it ended up in such a spot. Yeah, so since Nanako is available here, even though we can't, like, advance anything, I think it's a good time to just spend some time hanging out with her. She's super happy! You spent a precious moment with Nanako. You asked her about the fact why the stupid remote is constantly left on the cushion up there. Nothing was accomplished in this conversation, but Nanako was happy, which is all that really matters. Today is a Sunday, so you don't have to go to school. You wonder when it'll rain at night again. Your first term midterm start tomorrow. What should you do today? After all, it's Judgment Day. Would you mind hanging out with me a while today? I need to get my mind off of studying for a bit. She's rank two. Leave me alone, game. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, I'll pass, GA. Nope, I will do my own thing. Like, maybe if I had spent time with... Uh, with Chie before I would consider doing it. Wow. Weird those people that just went straight home. There's a lot of them. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go outside, though. I hope there wasn't anything in the fridge to eat. Somebody cycling! Look at them go! Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so it seems a good idea to me. Oh, wait. Before we do that. Before we do that. I just realized we haven't bought anything for Yukiko yet. Uh, let's see. Yeah, she's got a lace blouse. Um, that's good and all, but... Have you thought about a uh, charm robe? That seems pretty good. And uh, do you want to sell it? No. Keep it for nostalgia purposes. And then the other thing we need for her is not armor, but weapon. We will get her the no fan. Equip it, and no, we won't sell it. Okay. There. I just wanted to make sure I took care of that before I'd end up, like, forgetting it down the road. Oh, you're here. I've been waiting for you. Hey, why don't you take me somewhere? I don't know the area. You know your way around here, right? Seems Marie wants to go out. Uh, spend the day with Marie? Yeah, that's fine. Let's go. Marie looks happy. Today, I want to go to a lively place. I want to go to Junez. I heard about that place. Seems Marie wants to go to Junez, so we take her there. Junez Electronics Department. You were dragged here by an excited Marie. Hey. Hey, what happened just now? Time sale? Everyone was rushed to uh, grab something called a uh, salad dressing. Whatever it is, it must be worth fighting for. Huh? Hey, Forskun, what a coincidence. What are you doing here? Who's this girl? She's so cute. Uh, this is Marie. Oh, yeah. Marie looks perplexed. Marie-chan, huh? Oh, that's a nice name. Oh, I'm Chie Satsunaka. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Goes back to staring at the TV. I know what this is. It shows a lot of stuff. Oh, you came to look at the TVs, too. Yeah, I want one, too. We still haven't replaced our old one. Whatever. I don't want one. I don't, but... Maybe, can you turn it to Star Scandals? Uh, what kind of show is that? Why? Huh? It's like one of those shows, right? The one where they're all like, blah 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 Everybody watches it. Margaret told me that. For some reason, Marie seems proud. So, how do you watch it? You explain to Marie how to use a TV. Huh? 
Are you one of those people who doesn't watch TV? That's right. There isn't one in the room. Really? Wow, you must have super strict parents. Girl, I don't think I could stand it. Life without kung fu movies? Brr. Oh, but there's no elect uh, eclectic loutwits in that room. I'll tell the nose to install one of those eclectic loutwits. There's nothing to do in there. Hey, wait, Marie-chan, you don't even have electricity in your room? Well, I mean, there is some. It is a car. So unless it's powered by something non-electric, no electricity whatsoever required to run that car. You came with Marie and Chie. Ooh, that was great stuff. Satisfaction. I haven't had the steak here in a while, but it really isn't all that bad. Rechon, you haven't eaten at all. You too, Forrest Coon. You've got to eat if you want us to grow up big and strong. You eat too fast. You're going to be fat one day. I didn't need to hear that. I'll go get us some drinks. Oolong tea sounds good. And she's just out of there. There's a lot of people at this Junaz place. Why? Don't they have anything else to do? If they have TVs, they should be waste watching them instead of wasting time here. Mommy, I'm thirsty. I want a soda. No, you just had one. You'll have to wait. I want it, want it. I said no, you'll rot your teeth. <laughs> Marie watches the son mother and son. Hey, do you think I was ever like that? Uh, definitely. Of course. I see. Huh, I see. Marie seems depressed. You know, maybe maybe comparing her to uh, that particular kid, not the most appealing option. I don't remember anything. I was just walking in and I had nowhere to go and I just ended up in that car. Then Margaret told me to stay there. She also gave me the name Marie. It'd be hard to get around without a name. That must be rough. I don't know, I can't even remember if it was tough. That's okay, it's not like it's troubling me or anything. Despite her casual words, Marie has a concerned expression. But I don't know why, but this town is familiar to me. Do you remember anything else? I don't know. The only thing I remember, or more like know, is that this is mine. Marie is holding an old bamboo comb in her hand. I had this from the start. This is definitely mine. But so what? This doesn't help anything. Maria confided in you about her memory. You feel your relationship has improved. So we're up to rank two of the Aeon. Your power to create personas in the Aeon Arcana has grown. You're searching for the truth, right? You should stop. There's no such thing. This conversation is boring. Let's talk about something else. Sorry to keep you waiting. Okay, thanks, G8. The shop was busy, so I just ordered and came back here. They'll bring it to us when it's ready. The mood is quite, quite... Yes, heavy. Thank you, G8. That's the perfect way to put it. Don't worry, you two. I ordered for all of us. Oolong tea for everybody. After talking with Marie and G8 and drinking a lot of oolong tea, you escort her back to the velvet room. And Nanako is here. Mm. Uh, Nanako seems to be lost in thought. Uh, ask her what's wrong. Um, well... Oh, you're talking. She fidgets. I made flowers at school yesterday. They said today is Mother's Day. My teacher told us that today when you give your mom flowers. I don't have a mom, so I don't know what to do with these flowers. Nanako seems upset. 
So we can give them to Dad, give them to me. Give it to her in another way. Huh? Oh, you mean the family altar? Yeah. Dad always puts food there. He said it gets to Mom in heaven. Do you think my flowers will get to her too? Yes. For sure. I did a really good job on mine. She'll love them. My teacher said they were pretty too. I wonder if my mom will be happy to get them. Nod. Nanako seems happy. You should make a flower too, big bro. Then we can celebrate Mother's Day together. It'll be the worst looking flower imaginable. So... Nanako taught you how to make an origami flower. We did it! Just like, looks nothing like a flower on our side. She's got just like the most perfect new one. Well, we, we did uh, enough to gain one single green note. You place the finished flower on the family altar. It's getting late, so you put Nanako to bed and head back to your room. Okay, so we can't uh, progress with Dojima until we get our expression up. Okay, I guess since there's not really anything else, we'll just do a bit more studying. Just, just because. There's nothing really better to do. We didn't get a book or anything. Okay, so we got a couple bits of knowledge. Definitely don't need to worry too much about studying for a while now. Midterms begin. Hurry! Morning, Chie. Sam's are finally starting today. Real life's harsh. Have you studied for them? Uh, can't you tell? Do I look like I'm ready? Oh, but even once exams are over, we're not done with the case. All this depressing stuff's just gonna keep going on and on and on. So you're feeling good. That's great. You're gonna do fine, GA. Absolutely spectacular. In fact, just just check out what I've got. You'll you'll do just fine. You're sitting right next to me, after all. Uh, muscles grow. It's overcompensation. Thank you. I know I'm right. Here before one AD called. That's one BC. Yes, I approved game. Thank you for just confirming that I know what I know. to the 10th, which these type of numbers do not exist. Pretty sure it was marriage numbers. You feel you've chosen the correct answer. I, I think it was Natsumi. We just saw it, so that helps. On to the 11th. Midterms day three. What the fuck did we even cover this? Like, seriously, that must have been just... That was probably in something that I just absolutely sped through. Okay, fine. Gosh dang it, game. Oh, the highest mountain in the solar system. Olympus Mons. Thank you. Okay, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching. Maybe you saw the Macy Pelkins. You are and have a wonderful day. Bye.